Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. <gasps> yes, indeed, folks. Sampler platter series of videos I've been doing for a little while. I'll go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat the stuff. I drink stuff. Then, folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie. I'm real excited because I'm getting to try out some regional dishes again. But we'll get to that. Folks, it's a super simple format. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm yammer on about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm inside my truck. And whilst I'm doing all that, folks, I'm wearing a super cool shirt. Folks, I wear super cool shirts. I always like to highlight the super cool shirt. What super cool shirt am I wearing today? Well, folks, I've worn this one before. Boom! It's one of my cold shirts. Specifically from the Broken Human Tour. See? It's, it's thick. Um, if you are unfamiliar with the band Cold, they've been around for quite a while now. Started out, uh, I think, in the mid-90s? Mid, maybe early, I think, mid-90s. Um, you know, gained a little bit of traction early on. You know, took a little bit to, to properly get, like, moving, moving. Uh, but eventually they were able to go over there. They, you know, gained enough attention. And actually it was Fred Durst of Limp Biscuit who kind of went over there and helped sort of propel them a little bit forward in those days. And, you know, they were never, like, the biggest band on the planet or anything, but, you know, they gained quite a bit of notoriety, and they're still around to this day, even if at this point the lead singer is the only original member. Uh, I'm a big fan of these guys. I got into their stuff probably, i say on the ass end of middle school, probably about 8th grade, and I've been fortunate enough to see them perform a few times now. I have videos of all those performances... Those videos are awesome on this channel, just in case maybe you want to check their stuff out. But they're a really good band. I like them a lot. Anyway, what am I trying for you today, folks? Where is it regionally from? What are we doing? Well, we're trying out some Cuban slash Puerto Rican food from, boom, Muncho's Cafe, which is a spot that I just recently became aware of. Um, it's kind of a local spot to me a little bit. You know, I had a little bit of a drive. What with it being kind of a local spot? Uh, this and the subsequent videos, because I have a couple other things I'm going to review, are going to end up on my playlist called Eating Out Illinois, which is just my spot to highlight Illinois locations and eateries. So what's the first thing that we're doing? Boom! It's fucking... Because I... Empanadas! <laughs> See? Empanadas. Well, they fell out. Uh, specifically, these are beef empanadas. I figured I'd start out with something simple, something that, you know, even I'm somewhat aware of. Let's get a thing for the, for the thing. So let's try out some empanadas. I know I've had empanadas before, but I couldn't tell you when. Exterior is great. Mmm. It's got to be like a corn batter. Something like that. Which would make sense, you know. Given the region and whatnot. That is really freaking good, man. Yeah. Like, the, the outside's nice and crispy. I mean, you heard it. You know, you get that nice crunch to it. But then, you kind of go over there, like, you know, you bite into it. It's nice and soft. And then you got the... The beef on the inside, which is very flavorful. The, seriously, the, the exterior, man, like, the pastry is just fantastic. Like, it's got a nice, like, wonderful sort of corn flavor. And you got that delicious beef on the inside. You got, like, some peppers. Little veggies to kind of lighten it up a little bit. These are really good, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. I'm down with these. I was a little bit worried when I got them. Because I figured maybe they'd come with like a sauce or something like that, you know? Kind of give them something to spruce it up a little bit. 
I'm so happy it didn't. Seriously. I think, I mean, don't get me wrong, I think there's sauces that could work really well with this, but I think that going over there and using a type of sauce would have potentially mask some of the flavor that was going on here. And even though it was a super simple little thing, man, everything about it was cooked perfectly and everything about it was flavorful and delicious. And, you know, again, you know, I was like, well, you know, maybe the inside will be a little bit dry, you know, no. Nice and moist, super tender beef. The inside was freaking amazing. Like, everything about this was super good. Like, it just, the exterior, like I said, perfectly cooked, nice and crispy. But, you know, soft when you go over there and bite into it. And then, just the inside, the beef was fantastic. It's, like, kind of shredded. And then, you know, nice and moist, nice and tender. And then you've just got that, the delicious, you know, little pepper and stuff like that. Just to give it a little something extra. Man, like, I mean, this is, stuff like this is the reason why I love, like, trying out, like, sort of regional food and stuff like that, because, you know, it gives me, for one thing, it gives me an opportunity to experience stuff that maybe I don't have a lot of experience, or in some cases, any experience in, but on top of that, you know, it really allows me to appreciate, you know, what goes into this type of cuisine and stuff, because I fucking, I don't know, man, I live in the middle of fucking Illinois, you know? It's like, I just eat what I can get my hands on. <laughs> These are exceptional. They're simple, but they're the perfect mix of flavor and texture. And they're just, they're awesome, man. I think... How much do you cost? 350 for two. That ain't bad at all. That ain't bad at all. For a simple starter, that by itself, I mean, I can genuinely do like just a plate of these things. I'd be totally down with it. These are really good. I wasn't planning on eating both of them on camera, but that's what the hell happened, man. Um. Two questions have to be asked. Would I get them again? Would I recommend them? I mean, you should know the answer if you're watching the video, but clearly and clearly, yes, I'm... These are fantastic, man. Like, I got the idea to look for, like, Cuban and Puerto Rican food because I went over there and tried a drink from a coffee house that was, like, inspired by a uh, Puerto Rican drink. And so I decided to go over there and look around, and I saw that this place was, you know, not close, but not super far away. Something I could trek to pretty easily. And, you know, again, like, I mean, I've had Cuban food to a certain extent. You know, Puerto Rican food maybe a little bit less. But I was like, okay, you know, I want to wanna try this stuff out. And I am so happy that I did, man. This is, I mean, you know, I've still got two things to go. But so far, Mancho's Cafe, they're one for one. And they've set a high bar. I am absolutely down for this again. And if I'm recommending it to people, I think, yeah, absolutely. Because not only is it something where it's delicious, and I think that people should just eat it anyway, but it's also something that even if you're maybe like me, where, like, you're not super familiar, you know, with the cuisine, like empanadas are something you've probably heard of. But even if you hadn't, like, there's nothing about it that's particularly unusual if you're, you know, used to, like, an American palate. It's something you can jump into and have and be delicious. Five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day, spectacular rest of your week, monumental rest of your month, stupendous rest of your folks. You go over there and have yourselves a truly Cuban slash Puerto Rican-tastic rest of your life, I guess, man. <laughs> Again, one for one, so... Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity in your world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do it all the time, I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. Life can be stressful and frustrating and bullshit, and we don't always have delicious empanadas to go over there and brighten our day. When that's the case, take a step back. Try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives. Hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe 
there is some sort of regional cuisine that I haven't hit yet in my travels of my show. Because I'm trying, you know, I've been hitting them up quite a bit lately. Um, you know, and maybe there's something you want me to check out. Hey, please feel free to hit me up in the comments, let me know. Hey, it doesn't even have to be anything different. Maybe there's just, I've had people, when I did, uh... Uh, the Peruvian food, I had people hit me up and, you know, make suggestions about Peruvian food that I should try. If there's Puerto Rican and Cuban food that I should try that I haven't gotten to yet, again, I got a couple other things, so, you know, wait for those. I mean, I'm down. Always happy to go over there and share those experiences with you fine folks, so. Anyway, or conversely, you know, you can always just keep it a closely guarded secret yourself. <laughs> I'm going to hoard the deliciousness for me. Don't be like that. Let other people know about the deliciousness. Anyway, bye.